Hello everyone. I am Mr. S. Devendra Prabhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangodu. Welcome to my video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss for insurance companies. Okay, right. We are uh, very familiar for insurance. We know what is the insurance. Reach the terms for protection and give the safeguard of the uh, in my in our own life as well as um, business also. Okay, to help to the um, uh, injury for the um, overcome the financial losses. So this is the main purpose of the insurance. So one kind of security and protection, right? So then now we are going to discuss for goals. So understand the key concept is insurance accounting. Then obtain a better understanding of your financial statement. Use ratios to assess your company's overall financial conditions. This is the uh, important goals for the insurance company. Uh, then first one is we are uh, discussed for why makes insurance accounting unique because we have several accounts right in this insurance accounting it will be we are telling unique why so the main thing is the premium that means the income the losses the cost of goods sold and surplus so this is the uh, different terminology right so that's why we are telling that this is the unique things the next one is the key uh, concept of the premiums the premiums which we know as a person have to uh, pay the insurance company by the money for uh, monthly wise or quarterly wise or semi quarterly wise or yearly ones the amount will be deferred so those who are getting the insurance from the company the insurer deposit the amount to the insurance company in periodical wise so that the amount is called the premium right the return premium the premium is having the uh, important things uh, following things the return premium earned premium unearned premium deferred premium premiums received in advance is cancellation so this is the key concept of the premium then uh, reserves are the liability established for unpaid losses under loss adjustment expenses reserves are recorded when the insured events occurred based on the estimated cost of the setting of the claim because uh, we are giving the premium have some reserve in my account but unexpected thing anything will be happen to my family or business that time we have to easily claim the amount or settlement to the losses in, in terms of any occurs will be happen in future so that is a key concept of resource the next one is um, the resource or management the best estimate of those amount incurred by unpaid they are reduced of estimated salvage and subrogations of the recoveries so we have it will help help the insurer at the time of the recoveries the balance sheet of assets uh, what's your company's worth we have in company we have only for three things the cash and the investments real estate and the deferred premium okay the next one is um, balance sheet for liabilities what is your company's worth the other liabilities usually the liabilities have the following things uh, reserves commissions payable unearned premiums reinsurance payable so this is for liabilities in balance sheet then surplus so surplus we know the asset minus liabilities is called the surplus looked at by the regular of uh, assess overall financial conditions a company's surplus provides <coughs> caution for him absorbing uh, above average losses surplus will increase when you have a understanding underwriting profit or uh, net income the surplus is also affected by the challenges unrealized gains or losses in investment so surplus we have no we have we have the asset if you have left the less the liabilities we have the remaining things is called them surplus so if you have the, we are discussed in this one the next one is income statement underwriting profit is the measurement of how well a company is doing from its insurance operation the income statement to convey the person we have to through the income statement we have to know about the company what is the operations is going on whether it is um, higher growth getting a growth or fall down so we have to analyze through the easy way this is through the income statement so one of the tool to measure them or analyze the company's uh, real financial position that is for income statement the net income includes underwriting profit investment income other income and uh, income taxes from an analysis uh, standpoint uh, use uh, historical trend of underwriting income to determine if your company is doing well. so income statement is one of the tool or measurement to convey the report to the 
third person or public whether it is the company going good or not so this is the main purpose of the um, income statement so financial ratios the compile historical data and calculate financial ratios to assess the company's financial conditions and evaluate uh, trends obtain your company's annual statement <coughs> and it shows many keys of the financial ratio. So financial ratios help to um, to know about the easy way to analyzing the measurements. Okay, the ratios indicated, the, for example, 5 is 1. So the asset is 5, the liabilities is 1. That means what? We have the asset 5%, 5, percent, five liability is the of one the one fifth so this is for we have to easily uh, make a calculation right so this is for the financial ratio so thank you so much for watching video thank you